ITI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zlot, and we're here today with a pause game that uh, I just came back to the wreckage and I got to get rid of this guy. I got him stuck. So let's try and kill him. Oh my god, that is super loud. So yeah, I'll just talk a bit while I kill him because my ducting should make it quieter. And I don't even know if I'm damaging them. I'm not sure if we are. Oh yeah, look at that. We are now. Oh, it just took forever for his bar to start going down. <laughs> oh my god. This is not feasible, killing one of these things with a survival tool. <laughs> oh man, this is giving me my first kill, an O-Tug, with the survival tool. Hopefully he has a ton of meat. Hardly anything. Okay, that really sucked. Okay. Well. He was loud and annoying. Let's get the wood in here that I cut so that we can get more biofuel going. We'll put that in there. We can get that stuff in there. Um, okay. Are you doing it or are you just... I think it's doing it. Oh yeah, it's doing it. Okay. Uh, can we make more? What do we got here? We got oxygen. Uh, we're okay. We don't need to turn all that into oxygen yet. Okay. So we succeeded in go getting wood. Uh, oh, look at that. That's a... It's an actual medical station that cures poisonous bite, po food poison, indigestion, in oh wow, intoxication, fever attack, organ failure, dermal parasite. That one's a good one. Wow, that one's a good one. Okay, um, we need we need some more security. This really sucks. <sighs> Come on, get the other one going. The constructors are so slow that it's just mind-numbingly tedious. Once we get this, any biofuel for the drill? Huh. Okay, so now I can fuel up the second one. There we go. Now we'll we'll definitely keep up on our oxygen supply. Not that we weren't with one, it was just not giving us enough to roam with. Okay. And How's that doing? That's going... Okay, good. Well, um, I'm going to let that spin up a whole bunch. We're going to collect a whole bunch of O2 and water. Um, we're going to get some, some biofuel to take with us, and then we're going to go mine, or at least we're going to go attempt it. So I will come grab you when we're at that point. Okay, we're back. Uh, we should have enough to go do what we need to, getting these ores. I'm not sure if I can carry 30 ore, though. We might have to do a couple trips, but that's why I built the motorcycle. So let's go do this. Hopefully we can uh, avoid any critters. 
like that guy there. Uh, he's coming towards us, though. Yeah. You know what? Let's... Might be able to just train them. Uh, it's just iron, you know what? We'll just we'll just get it by hand. We'll get it by hand. Oh well, guess I got enough iron. Copper and silicone. Well, I mean, I, I do need iron. Whoops. Come back. Is that copper over here? That is copper. Haha, -ha, that's what I thought. Okay, excellent. What are we doing on weight? Oh, actually, we're doing okay. They reduce the weight on everything. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Silicone right here. Nice. So this is the start to the game now. It's not a, a a race to get all the matching for an HV before critters start spawning, because that just doesn't work anymore. Because critters spawn instantly now. I'm just gonna get this fiber. I still need to. Uh, Gather food all the time, constantly. Whoa, nice. Any critters vote? No, nice, okay. Oh yeah, there is, there's a guy over there. That's okay. That's okay. You know what? That's okay. We'll have that in our toolbar. And we can just drone it up. And then use our drill for the first time. We're just going to get... Oh yeah, it's right at the surface. Nice. We're just going to get enough to Well, I guess we do need a lot, but we just don't have the the weight capacity to take a lot of it, I don't think. It doesn't seem very big. Okay, so we did the copper, we just got to do the silicone, which is over there. And, yeah, see our... We've got to save enough for the silicone. Uh, and we'll probably need a little bit of food, too. First few days of gathering resources is going to be really, really slow going. not get anything for digging all that? Okay. 
Okay, 300, yeah. So good enough. So let's go to the silicone. The sun's going to be coming out pretty soon, so we'll have to head back. Probably make a uh, heater cooler. I haven't made one of those yet, but I did unlock it because I knew we we're going to have to. Get these fibers and drill this. Get what we can here. We'll basically drill until we can't pick up anymore. some oxygen. Okay. Oh, okay, so we'll just get what we can until it says we can't anymore. Now there's a few things that I will be skipping on the tutorial because they're they're not relevant uh, anymore, and I don't even know why they have it in. Creating a and a small generator and fuel tank is ridiculous at the beginning of the game. Should be doing a solar capacitor and a couple of solar panels for starters. Um, you got to build a small cargo box first, a, a base one, put that down, um, transfer or connect to your base through Wi-Fi, make your cargo box your toolbar, and then pick up the, it, it's just, it, it's a pain in the ass, and we're going to have to do that sort of stuff nowadays, so... We'll see. What's our what's our weight like? So we're just about to cap out. And there we go. Cannot inventory full. Blah. Yeah. We leave a rock behind. Or is it at our feet? Yeah, at our feet. A nugget. Come on. Oh. Oh well. That's proof that I have the weight thing turned on. <laughs> okay. Back to the wreckage. See, we don't have a lot. We're not going to be able to carry a lot. Okay, do we have any visitors back? No? Okay, good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so it wants us to craft a chainsaw for logs. Uh, don't really know if I want to bother with that. Gather, we'll gather log. You know what? We will. We will craft the chainsaw. Let's let's finish that. Why won't it let me pick the? Oh, because I'm full. Right, derp a derp. <laughs> yep good old weight limits got to get used to those now it's not how many slots you have it's how much volume you can carry but you can fill up your slots too with a bunch of stuff that doesn't have volume and just has mass so be aware of that and we were going to make a chainsaw so let's do that chainsaw then it wants us to go cut wood, so we can do that, but let's take some air. Yep, 
Yeah, we're nicely on top of it now. Yeah, we've got extra bottles now. Water on us. Take some of that food. We're going to have to go food ch food hunting pretty quick, too. Uh, come on, hurry up with the chainsaw. Wow. And really, it's only that far into it? Okay. So I'm going to let the, this grind up a little bit more. We're going to... Um, it wants us to go cut some trees. That's fine. We're going to head back to the um, crash site and cut down some trees. And Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? Isn't there a big... Hmm. We should go over here. Uh, chop down some of the trees in the water here and go for a swim and pick. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So let's get our oxygen situated here. Okay, so that's going to run for a while. That's good. Okay, there, finally. Okay, we've got the chainsaw. We've got a whole bunch of biofuel. I say we go to the water, which is just right over here. Small wreckage right over there. We haven't been to that wreckage, I don't think. We might have. Okay. So let's see what's over there other than just water. And, and oh, you know what? Before we head out, before we head out, I need to grab this. I know I'm, oh wow, I'm like, oh, because it only, it'll only grab what you can. See, it left a bunch behind. That's fine, because I didn't need it all. I just need, that. Okay, so now I can put this stuff back. One twenty five. See, those only have mass. These have liters, though. Those have liter. Those only have mass, so we should convert all the water. Okay. Good to know. Converting all the water, once it's done, that'll reduce our, our total liters that we're carrying. Uh, we're not going to need that, so let's ditch that. So now it's a, it's all about what we actually want. I'm going to keep the flashlight because that's going to potentially be handy underwater. And at night, I, I like the flashlight, actually. I know you guys never see me use it, but I do. It's actually pretty awesome. Here, let me put it in my toolbar. If you guys have never actually used the flashlight, it's pretty epic compared to... So there's the regular shoulder light, okay? You can kind of get a gist on on what it's like. Well, there's the, see how much brighter that was? Shoulder light, no light. Shoulder light. Flashlight. <laughs> you can see it like shines way out there. And it's more targeted too. See, so yeah, I can actually aim with it. Anyway, there's our fun. Let's uh, let's not do that. So, as our heater cooler is crafting in our suit, we will make a run at the water here. Yeah, those water lilies they uh, they're actually trees they give us wood so this will this is this is gonna work fine here 
Okay. So let's get off the bike. And then we'll find, we'll use. Oh, turn her shoulder like back on. Yeah, I can't warp jump. I know that. Oh, not close enough. Okay, so how much do they weigh? Five liters each. Holy crap. Holy crap. They are freaking heavy. I'm not going to be able to carry much. Let's just grab a few here. Twenty logs is like a fifth of my inventory. Mm, I don't think it's gonna let us. No. Oh, I wonder. Yeah. Oh, am I on the wrong? Ah, uh, no, yeah, I was on the wrong one, and now it won't let us. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> well, there's some silicone. Okay. Not sure how much wood I can get here. Oh, stop it. I can't get close enough to it to use the chainsaw, so... This will work at range. Can get that one. I just want something to take back and turn into biofuel. And I can't do it. No, okay. So... What did we get? Five? That's going to be ten biofuel. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not that great, but it's it's okay. What I really need is I'm going to be having some food problems. Let's grab these. Let's grab that. So I want to hold on to those because they don't weigh anything liter wise so we use up we'll convert the water right away and use the oxygen the little small oxygen bottles and then the emergency ones i'll use well for emergency but i'll stockpile them anyway okay um is there no seaweed in this that'd be really ch tragic let's take a look with the flashlight. Oh. What do we got here? Yep, we got seaweed. One. We got one seaweed. Oh, two, two. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting seaweed. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting seaweed. You know what? I do need rocks, too. Hmm. Nice. Oh, what is that? Can I grab it? No, it's stopping me from walking. It's probably plasma or something. There's a lot of invisible deco right now with this alpha. And see, like that. Something stopping me from moving. <laughs> Come on. Get around it. Thank you. Okay, this is excellent. Oh, it's just... 
Okay, let's walk away from the sun because it's just too hard to see. There we go. We're lots and lots and lots of seaweed. Unfortunately, I don't have a fridge to keep it, but we'll turn it all into uh, energy bars so it'll last longer. This is also a really good way to level up. Your own personal gardens don't give any experience anymore. They're just a piddling little amount, uh, which is good because um, you know, picking plants shouldn't teach you how to build rocket ships, or at least it shouldn't. Although, wasn't there a movie about a farmer that built a rocket ship? So, uh, I'm not saying it's it's not possible. I'm just saying it's unlikely. <laughs> This is a good score down here. So I'm going to keep doing this. Um, I think we're going to leave the episode here. We're currently... Just about level four. And hey, it never gave me a kill for killing the uh, Otog. Well, why didn't it do that? Is it not considered a predator? Well, it came after me, so that's... That's just wrong. <laughs> I should have got a kill for that. Uh, I feel jipped off now. Oh, well. <laughs> Not that it even makes one iota difference that what your kills mean at all in the game. It'd be nice if I could find some plasma. And my frame rates are now tanking really bad. You can see that. So, yep. It's time to call it an episode. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call it here. And next episode, we will try and get this base started. So, until then, you guys have... Oh, wow. I'm going to suffocate, really? I don't freaking think so. I don't freaking think so. Yeah, we got lots of let's get get lots of stacks of those crafting. Okay. Uh well I think we're good down here. We've got wood. I need I need better wood though. I need more wood, so I'm gonna go up here. Head up over by the small wreckage. And let's empty our hands. That way we can swim and we can swim faster that way. And if we swim on an angle, we can like get really, really fast swimming going on. <laughs> Draining my stamina. That's not really what I want. Although I did pick a ton of food, so meh. Okay, well, I'm definitely alive still. I'm alive and kicking and not ready to die yet. So look at the heat. Good thing I got a heater cooler. We were in the water, so we. Didn't notice it. See that? See that? Okay, guys. Uh, next episode, we'll get a platform placed anyway. And then uh, uh, do a little bit more exploring. Uh, I'll probably do some... You know, you know what? I won't do the mining off camera. I'm going to show you what it's going to be like. So next, next episode, we'll get the 
base started and then we'll do mining we'll put a we'll put a container on there and we'll do mining by bringing it all back into the container until the i mean it's it's going to be crazy but that's the way we've got to do it so till next episode you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>